hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is sarah and i do videos all about travel and what to do when you find yourself in a new country today's video is all about pepper pig world in england so pepper pig world is part of the portons park in the new forest it is a dream day out for many toddlers and young children my two and four year old absolutely love spending a day surrounded by all things pepper pig in this video i will be sharing a guide and tips to help you plan a fantastic family day out so portons park is a large family theme park with over 70 rides yes you heard me right over 70 rides so you will need to have a plan so that you can actually make good use of your time number one purchase your ticket in advance make sure you buy your ticket these will save you time when you get to the park anyone with a height above one meter needs a ticket and the cost is 41 pound 75 pence per person regardless of the age as long as you're above one meter in height this ticket is for the whole of portons park so you do not need a separate ticket for pepper pig world number two choose your day carefully when is the best time to visit pepper pig world if you visit during the week it's best if you're trying to avoid busy times but then if you have all the kids who are at school and would love to come as well then this is not possible we visited on a saturday but i had managed to pick a day where the forecast said it was going to rain luckily it did not rain for too long but that meant a lot of people decided not to book on that day because of the rain forecast so the crowd was less number three plan ahead the first thing i will recommend is you downloading the app the portent park app which gives you details of all the rides and the location of the rides at the park this will also give you queue times and show you when shows are happening this will also help you plan your journey in advance so that you arrive at the park on time i would recommend if you want to go there early you should arrive 30 minutes before the park opens so you can get a good parking spot and get right in front of the queue because that park is all about queuing number four measure in advance a lot of rides have some kind of height restrictions although there are plenty of pepper pig wall rides for under one meter so it's best to filter by your child's height and see the rides available for them so you can plan in advance which ride you will go on and this will also help manage expectations because you don't want your child getting excited to go on a ride and then by the time you get there you realize they are not allowed to get on that ride you will have a lot of tantrums which is not very good number five time your visit if you arrive early in the morning head straight to pepper pig wall which is towards the back end of portons park there are helpful signs all over so you'll, be, you'll easily find it do the rights there first and head to the other rights in the park if you arrive late morning or afternoon then i suggest you explore the rest of the park first and head over to pepper pig wall later when it's quieter as long as your kids are not very tired at that point number six avoid queues the app shows you queue times so you can see which rides have a shorter queue and head for them instead of wasting so much time on rides with longer queues because you know these little children and queues don't work very well number seven bring your own food my advice would be to bring pack lunch with you and trains if you do not want to spend a lot of money the prices in there are on the high side so bring your food and save your box you can buy a few things but avoid spending too much number eight 
bring spare clothes and a towel there is a water area there and if the weather is nice then your kids will probably get wet and will be needing a change of clothes so it's always a good idea to bring change of clothes a towel and just stuff to keep your kids nice and dry and the last point will be how long do you need a pepper pig world it truly depends on how much energy you have got or your kids so we spent about four and a half hours exploring which was easily enough to wear out my children but we covered a lot we had planned to because we had a plan and we were strategic about it i really hope these tips will help you have a better experience and if you enjoyed this video please like share comment and do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching and i i will see you next week